Listen, Jerry's like, you know, he, he's good. He's really good. I don't think there's too many guys that can keep up with him. He's always gonna add something new in his runs too. He never kind of like sits or takes it easy. He always like wants to step it up. At the end of the 1980s, vert skateboarding was still in its golden age. And in the suburbs of Montreal, a vert prodigy was just getting his wheels underneath him. There was a vert ramp right by my house and I started going there every day after school. And then my dad would drive me around. There was probably like three or four vert ramps uh, within 15 minutes of my house. He started really young and he's pretty good for his age. At that time, you know, I wasn't thinking, you know, we weren't thinking like, oh, he's gonna come out like, you know, top vert skater. He was just, you know, Another kid starting to skate vert. I started skating in around 88, 89, and that was like the prime of vert skating right before it died. We went through like a lot of, uh, of uh, hard, you know, hard times of trying to keep the vert scene going up in Montreal. Trying to get vert ramps uh, set up indoors up in Canada was uh, a task by itself. As vert skating entered a period of decline, Pierre-Luc Gagnon saw his once thriving scene decline with it. In Montreal, he was acknowledged as one of the city's best skaters. Outside of it, he was virtually unknown, until he began competing regularly at the end of the 90s. He was progressing at a level, like he was learning tricks like so quick and, and way faster than me. That's when you, that's when you kind of figure it out that, you know, he could do really good. I went to Tampa Pro, that, I think that was in early 97. And, um, you know, I made the finals in my first pro contest and I'm already like top 12. My second or third pro contest I ended up getting top three, which was a Vance Triple Crown in uh, Boston. I remember uh, Pierre from uh, the Triple Crown days making the finals and just having this consistent approach to skateboarding. And he just really uh, got more and more consistent and got more and more technical and gave us more and more trouble. Heavily inspired by fellow Canadian and technical vert pioneer Colin McKay, Gagnon learned early on that vert can be informed by other styles of skateboarding. PLG style is like street skating on vert. He's a technician, you know, all the flip tricks that he does. It's not a normal thing to be seen on vert. I just try to learn like at least one new banger every year. In 2002, I came out with that Nolly Hill clip in E3. Pierre is straight down the line. Being on the vert and being technical as good as he can be. 2008, I had the tray flip and used the fakey. Sometimes he has no set of tricks for like big tricks. So it's like back to back and it's like, he never lands sketchy. It's always like solid. In 2009, I was doing a kick flip body barrel and a twist. It's all a piece of cake to me. And then he mixed that on top of his super technical skating and you look at his runs and just sort of... <laughs> WTF. Gagnon won his first X Games in 2002 and has since racked up another 13 X Games medals. He comes to Los Angeles with a shot at something no vert skater has ever accomplished, an X Games 3P. There's going to be a lot of bees around him and it ain't easy to stay, you know, that relevant, that good in a row. There are going to be some guys out there that's, that are going to try to make it hard for him. I think Sean White is more of a spinner. Technically, he, he doesn't have what PLG has. It's not only Sean, there's Bucky, you know? And, you know, it's really not only Bucky, there's Alex Pearlson that can come out of nowhere. I mean, we've seen it. This is what makes skateboarding so amazing is that, you know, we all have different styles and it's not about doing the same thing. I just try to be powerful and technical at the same time. If he doesn't win, it's because he doesn't stick everything that he was setting out to do. If he puts everything together, it's it's pretty difficult to beat the guy. I don't know about unbeatable, but I definitely feel that, um, you know, I can be a top contender if I pull my run. I'm trying to keep it fresh. I'm trying to keep it new. I'm just trying to stay cool, calm, and focus on my skating, have a good time doing it.